Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Replay. And in today's video, we are going to have a look at the bolt action snipers that are there in the game, which are the most effective and the ones that you can use and the best scopes that are available in the game that you can use for these kind of builds. And I will tell you the best budget builds that you can make from these guns. Obviously these guns are expensive themselves but I will tell you the exact cost that, are, that is required for you to attach all the attachments onto the gun and use them very effectively. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the video. So the first gun that we are going to have a look at is the DVL-10 and I will tell you exactly what are the parts I have used to make this gun. So the DVL-10 is right here. I have used the 500mm barrel for the DVL-10 from Skia for 38,000. Then I have used the DVL-10 muzzle device from Skia for 5,000. I have used the Hogue overmolded rubber grip that is in green from Peacekeeper. Then I have used the scope pound from Jaeger for 4000 rubles. I have used the Voodoo 1-6 is to rifle scope from Jaeger that cost me 45,000. So the total stats on the build is Recoil 64, Ergonomics 36 and the total cost on the build is 95,000 rubles. So this is a very effective gun in terms of uh, being silent while firing this gun as I'm using the 1 is to 6 voodoo scoop it is quite effective for long range and short range as well and as this gun is very silent as it is completely suppressed as you just need to change the barrel of the gun they this comes in two different barrels you can either attach an attachment to the original barrel and have a an, uh, suppressor attached to it but that will be expensive when the, rather than you changing the whole barrel itself. So this is a more uh, budget way of you to suppress the weapon and it is quite effective as the, this gun uses the M61 or the M62 rounds which are really effective in front of PMCs and scavs as well. So over here I am trying to take down the boss and the boss guards on woods. I have already taken down uh, Sturman and this is the boss guard to whom I am fighting. As you all can see once I scope in I can see the uh, enemy really clearly and it is really effective in close ranges as well. I have used uh, different types of uh, scopes onto this gun and this is the best that suits this particular gun but you you all can decide whether you want to use this kind of scope or any other scopes that is a personal preference but this is my preference of using this scope onto this gun and the bullet which it fires is really effective in front of PMCs even if they are heavily geared so the next gun we are going to have a look at is the T5000M. So this is one of the uh, least used guns on in the bolt action rifle series. But I can assure you this is one of the most effective guns that I have seen. So the, I have used the scope mount from the flea market for 4000 rubles. Then I have used the 30mm scope mount from Jaeger. Then I have used the Burris Full Field TAC 30 Rifle Scope from Jaeger for 32,000. Then I have used the Holosun LS321 Tactical Device. Then comes the AAC Blackout Flash Hider onto which I will attach the suppressor. And this is the AAC 762 SDN Suppressor from Peacekeeper. And rest there is nothing else that you need to attach to this gun as this gun already comes with the pistol grip and all the other stuff as well. So this gun is also very effective in front of PMCs as well. So I have used this gun in different situations in front of uh, multiple groups of PMCs 
and scavs as well. The only downside to this is that it has a 5 round magazine into the gun and you cannot increase the size of the magazine which it only allows you to put 5 rounds in a particular magazine and you can't extend it as there is no extension available. So you will have to choose your shots pretty wisely and that is the only downside to this gun if you are facing multiple PMCs or scavs it is not advisable to use this gun uh, head on to th those people as you will usually get eliminated as this gun has a slow fire rate as, the, as it is a bolt action sniper. But I suggest this gun is really effective if you can make your shots count and if you use this gun really wisely you can take down multiple PMCs with this gun as I have done in the past as well. So this gun is really effective and I would also recommend to use this gun with not the 6x scope but the 4x scope as it is really effective in front of groups of PMCs or scavs that you encounter in this game as a 4x scope is scoped in quite less you can have a look at the surrounding really well and you can use this gun to its maximum potential so it is actually a personal preference if you like 6x you can use the 6x on this gun but I usually like the 4x on this gun so that I can scope out and have a look at other enemies surrounding the area as well so we will go ahead with the next gun on the build so this is the M700 which I have used with a 6x scope and I have also changed the body of this gun which I will show you exactly which one it is so onto this gun I have used the Promag Archangel polymer stock which changes the whole stock from the stock model I have used the 20 inch barrel that is from mechanic for 23,000 then I have used the DT mount for the silencio hybrid then comes the silencio hybrid 46 silencer from peacekeeper it is a bit expensive but it is really effective as well then I have used the 30mm ring mount from Jaeger then the scope which is the voodoo scope 1s to 6 which I have used from the first build so the total stats on the build is recoil 117, ergonomics 24 and the total cost is around 150,000 rubles. So this gun is really effective and it looks really nice as well as it is a professional sniper rifle according to me and the one of the best sniper rifles I've used to complete the tasks in, given in this game. And I have also used this gun in many other equations in order to take down multiple PMCs and scav bosses as well. So this is one of the best choices that I have made in this budget build of the bolt action snipers as it take downs the enemy really fast. Here you all saw that I have taken down the scav boss that is Termin on woods really fast and he did we did trade off but he just took a shot to my stomach and he's down for the count so i will go ahead uh, and see the scav bosses on the map as well but really this gun is one of the most effective guns it is a bit expensive because of the stock change and i've also used a 20 round magazine onto this gun but using this gun with the m61 or the m62 rounds is really effective and I have seen multiple occasions on which I have come out victorious as this gun is really very effective in the budget segment. Sometimes this gun may take a lot of rounds to kill an enemy but usually if you hit your shots on to the head itself it is a really effective gun no matter which caliber of bullets you are using. So if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and do subscribe to my channel as I come up with new guide videos every week. If you have any questions regarding the builds that I have shown in this video you can write them down in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next one.